Do you always wonder what is a red character or what is release, impact, manipulate, blah blah blah. Maybe you are a new player and you are a little shy to ask anyone or maybe you think if you ask them, uh, they will give you a glare because this was so simple. Well don't worry after this video you will go from this to this. So without wasting any more time, let's go. <laughs> Hey what's up guys Indian Sensei here welcome to another episode of Ninja Voltage and today we are going to talk about the colors and nature type of cards many players are new and they don't quite understand what to do with this colors nature resistance and stuff like that so for example uh, this card of Naruto original we have on the top left corner you can see a red color and in the center you can see a green color so what does this mean so basically we have two things in this game and they are the card color or character color or uh, the nature color so I mean to say that we have uh, Hokage Naruto here with us he is a yellow character and one thing we need to notice is that the color of the character is the same as the color of the card of the ultimate of that character so you can see both of his uh, ultimate jutsus are yellow this one also is yellow and he is also yellow so this is always gonna be same so but the nature type of the ultimate can differ from the card color type so yeah so as of now we have total of five colors we have red uh, for example red character we have Minato we have green KLM and many more we have blue we have yellow and we have purple so total of five colors and each of these colors signify different things so starting up with uh, red characters so we will start with uh, say Naruto original so he is a red character so red basically means is attack so for example Naruto original here is a red character and he is a very very good attacker I mean he has he can go a very high level for attack so uh, what I mean to say is if you are gonna use him as your defense character then you probably just want to focus on giving him attack cards I mean uh, attack uh, attack cards is red so let's see any attack cards so this one is red red card so this is probably uh, be the best cards for him to give so do you just sort by attack and you can see we have attack 1173 uh, 1, 971 so stuff like that so what you want to do is for red characters you want to give him all the red cards so you can see how much attack power he got from all the red cards so he lacks everything else I mean see especially CP red character always lacks CP as well as defense but you don't need to worry about these things because they are meant to be as uh, attacker I mean if you guys know that uh, Naruto original is capable of one shotting with his shadow clone jutsu any enemy so but this is only possible if you give him a lot of attack power so with red cards uh, with red character the main thing to keep in mind is they are attack types so focus on giving them attack so don't focus on giving them I mean you if you want to use them as a main character you can give him some CP but I mean there's no point in giving him defense or HP because his role is to attack and kill the enemy as soon as possible even if you were to give him uh, defense cards so let's see if I do this and I mean let's go by defense and if I give him all the yellow cards here so you can see I cannot max his defense as you might think it would I mean only 8928 so this really doesn't make that much of a difference even if I use all attack cards on him like this and you can see the defense is 7900 so by using all the yellow cards I increase his defense only by 1000 but I use by using all the red cards I increase his attack by way way much more power so 
that's the thing you need to keep in mind so this is for red character now next up is we have uh, let's see yellow character so yellow character we have hokage naruto with us and yellow character are meant for defense a yellow character has high defense as compared to others so for example hokage naruto here is yellow character both of his ultimate are yellow and their nature is different on both the ultimate so we will talk about that later so as i told you earlier the ultimate jutsu color and the uh, yeah character color is going to be the same always so what you want to do with with these characters is give them a lot of defense i mean they are made for defense so but uh, things might change with some of the characters like if you want to use hokage naruto as a main character you probably want to focus on giving him more attack power than defense because uh, if you want to use him as a main you need more attack same goes for itachi version 2 if you want to use him as a main character then you need to give him more attack power but the thing with um, yellow characters is that they lack attack power as well as cp so you need to focus on these both things if you want to use them as main character attack power and cp but if you want to use them as defense character in your base then just you just need to focus on defense and uh, attack really doesn't matter that much because they are evenly uh, very hard to kill you might know that hokage naruto is very very hard to kill without using an ultimate he takes up a lot of time so he is meant to be a defense character so just focus on giving him a lot of defense for example gara here is a yellow character and i have given him all the yellow cards as you can see as well as given him some vest to boost up his defense and stuff so you can see his defense is almost 17500 so which is very high so he is very very annoying in the fortress so you might know if you have encountered him in your games so yeah that was the yellow character now next up we have blue character so blue means cp so the blue characters always have a lot of cp as compared to any other colors so for example six path naruto here is a blue character as again his ultimate also blue character hits nature type might differ so blue characters usually lack attack power i mean uh, if you don't give them good attack power then uh, they are not gonna be that useful so they have a lot of cp so but they also lack attack as well as defense so if you on for example i am using six path naruto in my base so as you can see i have made him pretty balanced given him attack given him defense so that he can survive and also he can kill the enemies when required so but uh, for example you want to use him in sam then you are probably going to go for more attack power because the in sam attack power is what really counts so you are going to go with this attack power so that you can damage the sam boss even more so yeah so blue characters are hard to give defense if you don't have good cards you can put blue cards yellow cards i mean mix of cards and try out which card gives him good amount of stats so and you can go with that so yeah that was for blue characters now we have green characters so green character let's take klm so as you can see green characters mean hp so a green color or green card color means hp so the green characters always have high hp as you can see here with klm naruto he has almost 25000 hp which is pretty high what the problem with uh, green characters is that they lack cp as well as attack so you need to focus on giving them good amount of attack as well as cp if you want to use them as a main character but if you want to use them in a fortress then you might want to make them a little balance like i have with klm naruto so for example let's take shishu so you all know he is a green character he has a good amount of hp even without the ultimate i have just put random cards on him you can see hp is almost 19000 something and but he lacks cp and you might all know that his ultimate always uh, at level 1 takes like 700 cp which is very very high so you know what i'm getting at 
so what they lack is cp as well as attack power so if you want to make shishui a very very good high attacker then only attack cards are not gonna be your problem you have to give him like other things as well for example let's see uh, if you give him all attack cards and if you have his uh, jutsu ultimate jutsu at level 1 then one time usage will consume 700 cp even if you have him to 27000 cp 2700 cp uh, the cp is gonna go down like very fast so you need to balance him out give him some chakra as well so that you know he survives for a longer time but if you are not gonna use him as a main character then i would su suggest using giving him defense as well as uh, some some little bit of attack power so that he can survive in the fortress but if you are going to use him as a attack character as a main character then make sure to give him a lot of cp as well as attack power so yeah this was for green character now last we have purple characters so purple characters for example madara are made to be balanced i mean they are the most balanced characters of all the colors i mean they have a good amount of hp attack cp defense so you can uh, convert them to whatever type you want to i mean if you want to use to give them attack power you can give them more attack power like i have i am using madara in my defense so as you can see i have given him almost all red cards except hit jusus so his attack power is 14000 now defense is also decent he has a lot of cp hp is also decent so you see what i tell you by saying that he is a balanced character i mean not only he but all the purple characters like akashi orochimaru here sage mo naruto all are be balanced characters you just need to manage the cards here and there so that you can get them to your desired uh, stats so yeah so this was for the colors now let's see uh at the natures nature colors so for that we have total of six natures uh, let's see start with scarlet so scarlet colors means lunge so we are going to find a lunge jutsu i think this is lunge yeah so you can see in the middle this uh, besides giant shuriken it says red uh, red card it is also a red card but let's focus on the nature type so this means lunge so this is a lunge uh, nature and there are many other colors like this one was lunge so let's go to impact now so impact is this one no sorry this one so yellow means impact here this bright yellow at the center means impact now let's go for release so this green character green color in the center means release we have also annihilation which is the light kind of light purple color here which means annihilation and we have one more uh, manipulate so this ultimate jutsu is manipulate a brown color is manipulate so we have one more uh, which is gray and which is normal so we don't see normal that often so these was the six colors like a scarlet yellow brown green light purple and gray so these nature colors don't actually mean anything by their name or color what it is what it means for example is let's take sam for example and we go to rules here and every sam we get this detail of sam and if you scroll down and see that it says here yeah right here the giants boss weak natures this time are annihilation and release so you can see the colors also mentioned here so purple is annihilation green is release so what this means is if you use any jutsus with annihilation and release type you are gonna go do a lot of damage other colors are not gonna do damage i mean they are gonna get resisted so what resistance means is as you can see they mention all the resistance here so you can see release was minus 30 percent last time um the green color purple is minus 15 percent which is annihilation and all the others are resisted i mean if you use all the other jutsus with these colors then it is gonna get resisted i mean it is not gonna do damage it is gonna do damage but very 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 less damage because the the boss will resist all of the attacks so 
you can see minus 30 percent means it, this is the most damaging uh, color and minus 15 is the second color so if you use use release jutsu uh, last time we had release for minato so if you use minato's jutsu then he is gonna do a lot more damage as compared to annihilation jutsus like ems sasuke and klm's new ult so yeah that was the case with last time so uh, this was for sam this also goes for every other special mission like this we had i mean do we have his info let's go to the notice if you read the notice carefully every time we they release a mission they mention the uh, weak nature of the boss so let's see uh, no i don't think they mentioned it here let's go for yeah roundup mission let's go for roundup mission here so if you see here then yeah mother of chia six path weak natures are released and impact so again what this means is if you use impact as well as release nature cards nature ultimates or jutsus that is going to do more damage to madara in the roundup mission as compared to other colors so yeah the these colors also tells you one thing that what kunais what tools you need to put on the characters for maximum damage for example here you see i have put these brown kunais which are manipulate in nature which boost the power of manipulate jutsu by 8% that doesn't necessarily mean that only ultimate will be boosted but all the jutsu which are manipulated in nature will be boosted by this kunai so in this case kurama had uh, is manipulated in nature as you can see brownish color so it is gonna get boosted if you don't have the kunais with you you are gonna probably gonna build tools from here so say you want to build tool for release nature power up so there are two things power up as well as resistance so we are going to talk about power up i mean power up means that release nature jutsu will be powered up if you build this tool resistance up means if you build this tool and put it on a character the, all the release jutsu which the enemy uses on you will be resisted i mean not to fully resisted but the percentage which is mentioned here will be um, that much amount will be resisted so for example if we go for jutsu nature power up and green one as we all know is release and we get these three tools which boost release power so this is the new five star tool which we unlock at factory level 20 i think so this boost attack power by all maximum at eight percent this boost is six percent this boost is four percent so this is same as the kunais which also boost eight percent of the power so if you build this tool and put it on say put it on say uh six path naruto here these three jutsu all are released as you can see and you put all the green kunais or green tools with release nature even you can see the power of release will in be increased i mean this is gonna do more damage without the uh, without as compared to without the tools so yeah there is that now if you i mean one more thing is that if you use other kunais like for example klm has manipulate and impact on his kit and if i use say annihilation kunais so this is gonna give him attack but this is not gonna boost any of his jutsus because his jutsus do not specify annihilation nature only his new ultimate in annihilation so that will be only boosted not the other jutsus so you need to make sure that you use the right tools on right characters for right jutsus so yeah so let's uh, go one more time over it and we discussed all the five colors which were red uh, yellow green blue and purple and all the natures which were scarlet that stands for lunge purple is for annihilation green is for release brown is for manipulate yellow is for impact and gray is for normal so again the nature colors are different from the card colors or shinobi colors now many people think that a green character must have all the green cards i mean it's not necessarily true it depends on how you plan to use the shinobi so for sam 
for example if uh, this sam if i'm gonna use uh, six path naruto as my main character for sam then i'm gonna probably go with attack power not the blue cards because the key to sam is more attack power the more attack power you have the more damage will you will do and the more contribution point you will get in sam so the people who think that if we put all blue cards on him he's better off i mean he can be good with blue cards i mean let's see if i remove this green and red and stuff and just use blue ultimates on him i mean at first you might think yeah it is okay but let me tell you this is not the case you just need to focus on what you are gonna use this character as i'm gonna use him as defense character then i'm gonna probably go with some defense some attack some cp some hp so all things go like this not just because he's a blue character just put randomly put all blue cards on him that's not gonna work that's a basic way of putting up cards so the advanced way is to look at all the cards look at his color look at his jutsu what jutsu he has how much damage he does what stats he needs for defense what stats he needs for attack power and stuff like that so yeah now this was for the colors in the game and i think i was helpful let me know what should be my next video and i hope really hope that this video was useful to you guys and if you find this video useful and all of my videos you like that then uh, do subscribe comment it helps me to know what you guys like or don't like and make sure to check out my social medias like instagram reddit i post useful and fun stuff there links will be in the description and you are most welcome to join my discord server we also help each other out and have some fun around again links are in description uh, thank you guys for all the support until next time sayonara